Great Barrow, the oldest and largest of the Adain Mounds within the Barrow Downs, and home to some of the most terrifying servants of the Witch King. All right, last part of the Great Barrow. You may remember this little part from Chapter 11 of Book 1. But this is going to be something different altogether. Going to go ahead and try to take on this final boss. Probably, again, should have made this a little bit lower level. So we can get through it. But, it didn't happen to turn out that way. So we're just going to deal with it. So, we'll just try our best. Through a spear at that guy. So, what happened here? Where are like all these monsters coming from? It's a little bit crazy. Chasing this guy around. Alright, let's do a... Uh, let's do this. There we go. Throw a couple of spears at that guy up there. Blocked, of course. I'm not going to bother going up there. I'm just going to start working on this guy. Surety of death on him. Man, we're really lacking some damage here. I don't know where everybody else is, but not doing the damage I would like. Alright, so now I guess let's go up this way. And see what's waiting. Got some crawling arms here. Okay. I'm getting my ass whooped. Let me throw down a heal. Excellence. Let's keep going. I'm just gonna keep doing my surety of death because it does a ton of damage and it does AoE damage. Doing the surety of death. Okay. This one's going pretty smoothly so far, not gonna lie. Got a couple hands here. Okay. And maybe go this way. Yeah, let's go this way. Never mind, dead end. 
this way it is. And another dead end. Okay, a curse fell spirit here. Let's try to kill this guy. This is for that heading west quest that I got at the beginning of this episode. You gotta kill like 20 or 25 of these or something. And somebody's getting their ass whooped. I don't know who. Okay. Some enemies like kind of popping up out of nowhere. Okay. So, where can we go? Maybe up here? Yeah. Let's go up here. Fighting these guys steadily and surely gonna defeat them. Maybe throw down a Persevere just to heal a little bit, although my power seems to be kind of draining. So let me see if I can get a power potion going. So that hunter's doing like way too much damage, and that's why I was losing aggro on this guy. Even though I feel like I'm doing pretty decent damage on him as well. Alright. So more gauntmen ahead. Let's wait for the revive here. Okay, nothing too exciting. Although, I don't know how that guy aggroed from all the way back there. And a bunch of Bargus as well. Even though this lore master doesn't have any gear, I will have to give him credit. He's doing a pretty good job at keeping things stunned. He's got good crowd control for us, which is always helpful. Okay, let me start working on some of these hounds. Okay. Finally got this bad boy. It's also a stunt archer over here. Okay. Not too bad. I think we're ready to move on, although the Lord Master could probably use a little bit of power. But I just want to keep pushing ahead, get this over and done with. And we got the skull door here, for which we got the key. Wait a minute, I thought for sure I had the key. Maybe it's in my inventory, although I thought it automatically just kind of went to my key ring. Well, there you go. What? 
There we go, I got the skull key. You acquired the passive skill skull key. Why is the door not opening? Why is it still locked? Okay, we're back. Maybe that wasn't the right door. I don't know. Uh, we just kind of found this other little wing in here. And it looks like my group managed to pull every mob imaginable. Okay. Go ahead and try to get this guy, I suppose. Okay. And yeah, let's keep going. Got more fell spirits here. Gonna wait for the patrols. Maybe. I mean, that was the plan, but whatever. out of 15 on those I might have missed one because I actually left the instance and came back in to see if that kind of reset my key ring or something and my group might have killed a few spirits while I was outside because they're the ones that found this other little wing here There's some decent AoE damage on these guys. Okay, I think we're good. Let me get rid of some disease here. Still got a creeping arm. What else is harassing us? I guess this hound. Okay, there we go. So, now which way do I want to go? Probably forward, right? Probably not. gonna work on some of these other trash bombs while the group is kind of working on their thing this guy disappeared into the nothingness but he'll be back soon no worries there we go And I guess let's go down one of the sides here. Alright, nothing here. Looks like the way forward opened up though, so... You know what, I kind of want to check down here just for more fell spirits, because I do want to finish that Heading West quest. Doesn't look like there's anything though, so we'll just press on ahead.
Alright, I'm like stuck in place here. I think I'm rooted. Okay. So, let's keep going this way. Should be more Phil Spirits over here, I believe. Indeed there are. There are actually a ton of them. Okay, try to use a potion. Try to kill all these guys quickly here. Did finish the heading west quest, which is nice. Okay, and just some creepy crawlies to deal with here. So let me actually get rid of this closest one. Get rid of my poison. Although I'm standing in it, so let me get out. Okay. Alright, looks like we're good. Keep pressing ahead. Towards the end here, should almost be at the final boss. In fact, there he is. Mr. Sambrog himself. Welcome, you have come quite far to end such a meaningless existence. Okay. Gonna try to hold aggro to the best of my ability. And looks like I am standing in some fear, which I do not want to be doing. So I'm gonna try to range him. There we go, and then I'll come back in. And then we'll do a Persevere. Just to kind of heal up a little bit. And looks like I've established the aggro pretty securely here, which is nice. And this boss is going to die pretty soon. It looks like those guys are healing him though, but it doesn't matter. We're doing more damage than those guys can heal. Which sucks for them, but it's good for us. And I guess that's the end. That is the end indeed. Which is pretty nice. So that was that. It was a complete disaster of an episode. I do apologize for that. Uh, it was a complete disaster on my part. As a group player here, I did terrible, but my team also did terrible. In fact, I have a lore master who has nothing equipped, but we pulled through. Um, I'll definitely be better at group content from now on, I promise. I'll kind of practice, I guess, and keep in mind the things I have to do. I was just kind of thrown in here because I finally found a group, so I was just so excited to uh, get into it, I guess. So... Um, I'm actually going to edit myself out of here. We're going to turn in all those quests that we finished in here. And then we're going to call it an episode. Alright, so we have three quests to turn in from the Great Barrows, and we're going to start over here with Heading West. Negavanen. You have done well, Kip, and nevertheless, we shall sojourn here a short while longer to see that evil does not come to the simple folk of this land. And in fact, this cloak is a bit better than the one I have. 
So we're going to go with that. And let me equip it. Excellent. Although I don't like the fact that it is on my cosmetics, so I'm actually going to take that off. Um, God, where's the... Oh, there we go. Cosmetic outfit tab. Let me hide the cloak, I guess. Right? That's not right. Where's my little, uh, my little hat or whatever? There we go. That's... I'm so confused right now. Okay. Right? No. Because the cloak is still on. I don't understand. It says I'm wearing this one. Okay. There we go. Take the cloak off. Alright. Anyways, let's go turn in these other two quests. I will see you there. It's all the way back in Bree Town, so it's quite a far away. Never mind. Tad is right there on the other side here. So let me go talk to him real quick. Although I guess I have to go back up to the northern bear downs. It's a little rat run. It's pretty funny. He's holding his little head up. Talk to Bob at Dead Man's Perch. But I kind of want to talk to Tad first. What is this? Fog Guardian. <laughs> so where is Ted? Oh, he's all the way over there. Okay, so let's go north. Again, I do apologize for a bit of a disaster of an episode. Um, I know I played horribly. It's almost embarrassing. In fact, it is embarrassing. But hey, we got through this. So for some of the deeds and challenges and quests for the Great Barrows, I'm going to have to do those later. In fact, there's one quest that you can only do at level 100, which is the challenge quest. So I'll definitely be coming back. But for now, I just kind of wanted to show you guys the instance. What can I do for you? I confess that I was half afraid you would not return. You found the chalices? Ah, wonderful. I cannot say that these would help at all against such dread fiends as the Barrow Whites. But they might still have some value. Strictly historical, of course. I'll take these at once to someone who might find them interesting. Okay. Eh. Nothing really that is better than what I have. So I guess I'll take that. Alright, and let's turn in this final quest. Purging the dead. And then we'll be done. And then the next episode is going to be the season finale. In which I'm going to go over all the deeds here in Breland. Going to make sure I craft myself some more armor. Do all that sort of good stuff. And then we'll be ready to head into season 4. In the Lone Lands. This episode definitely put a damper on my roll though because it took me several days to get a group going. And it was just frustrating because I'm ready to start recording some other stuff and I couldn't because I'm trying to finish this one up. Uh, so this lady's going to give me those repeatable quests. Yeah, so I'm not interested in that. i already done those. I'm interested in Bob over here. First let me kill this guy. What's your name? You're a valiant hobbit, my friend. You have succeeded where many would fail. Truthfully, I would never dare. Thank you greatly for your help. I believe that Bree is a safer place because of your actions. Okay. So, I think we're good here. That's it. That is it. And did I just become kindred? Yes, I am kindred. I maxed out my reputation with the Minabree, so that's nice as well. 
So in the next episode, it's going to be the season finale. We're going to go over all the deeds here in Breland. Hope you guys are excited, and I hope you'll join me for that. So again, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to leave a like, and I will catch you guys next time.